All right, guys, welcome to episode 139 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John over here, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, get yourself a little merch if you haven't done so already. You know what I'm saying? Get the dog sign, get the wife sign, get the family sign, whatever. You know something, what I'm saying? We got something, something for everybody. We got fucking mugs, masks, hoodies, t shirts, long sleeves, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Go support if you want to support. But we're back with another one. It's a beautiful Thursday. How we feeling, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit, man. I'm feeling good, bro. You already know. Same routine, man. We got a fucking little drink on. We fucking smoking. You yeah, already man. know the vibe, bro. It's Thursday. Thursday. Oh, thirsty, well. thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty. <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty, you know man. I mean? Damn, bro. My fucking... It's almost there. I don't know what's going on, bro. Oh, my lava lamp's been lava acting lamp up. lamp is... Feeling a little lazy now that it's colder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he got a little, a little bit fucking, lazy. Yeah, bro, he's a little bit toasty, he's but still, not. He's still cozy and you know tucked in. Yeah, you know bro, I mean? yeah, that's bro. all it is. That's all it is. I fucking slept wrong, bro. I think I need to get a new bed, bro. My dog needs a new bed, new pillows, <laughs> new everything, bro, new neck, I need, bro. I need a new everything, bro. God, a new fucking neck. But now, nah, listen, man. Heading straight into the first thing I wanted to talk about, man. Round of applause. Round of applause to the battle rap culture, bro. I've been watching these guys for, for years, man. Yeah. Like years, bro. King and of the they, Dot. You know what I'm saying? King of the Dot, URL. You know what I'm saying? These guys have been building this for years now. And I remember when they weren't, they were doing it for the love of the sport. They weren't getting no bags. And they've built it to the point where they're doing this stuff at Chris Brown's house, Drake's house. Like, they're up there now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and you got to fucking... You got to commend that shit, bro. Like, you got to commend that shit because it's hard, bro. They built that shit smack, smack uh, DVDs, bro. He started that shit, like, in the early 2000s. Jeez. So, so it took him, been... like, 15, 20 years to get to where he's at. But yeah. now he's getting them back. Yeah. He's getting them back, Sometimes bro. it takes that long, bro. Like, people need to bro. realize that. Like, people need to realize that, yo, bro, like, 20 years of hard work will pay off eventually. Like, Facts. Like, Facts. That's like, crazy. he wasn't that's always, he wasn't always standing next to Drake. He wasn't always standing next to Chris Brown. Yeah. He wasn't. You know, that shit took years. It took time. You know, it took dedication. It took work. You know? And uh, nah, bro, it's just amazing. I, I was watching, uh, I watched uh, the Chess versus Charlie Clips battle, and it's just, it's crazy to see how how far the, the you know, the sport has come, bro. And uh, like I just wanted to give a round of applause. You yeah, know what I'm that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, it's, bro, it's commendable, bro. When you see somebody build something from nothing, and now it's it's something. everybody's getting paid. Everybody, everybody that was there that was on the card got paid. You know, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand, seventy five thousand. Like that's a bag, bro. Just to go spit a few bars for fucking thirty minutes. Yeah, and you know make them feel like, like a piece of shit. You know? Yeah, <laughs> in front of everybody. Shit, yeah, yeah, man, fuck your mother, fuck your fucking kids. You know what I mean? And then I'll I tie I, them up and burn them. Yeah, all that. I'll throw them off the bridge. Don't forget about <laughs> the shit I heard when you snitched on the grid. Oh, oh. damn, my dog said on the grid. <laughs> yeah. Nobody even knows what that is, but I made it up. Y'all yeah. be making up words. Why can't I? Nah, facts. What the fuck? <laughs> <Scrum dilly-umptious laughs> yeah, shit. like Vista bargain and all this. Yo, <laughs> I don't even. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Applause. Yo, applause. Round of applause for that motherfucker. Yeah, Finally, the, the lazy lava. son of a bitch. He overheard us. He overheard he said, us. Yo, fuck you. I'm not up. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, you call me out. All right, bet. I fucking kill you. Yeah, bro. We paying for you to work here, bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, we pay the electric bill. You better work. Yeah, you better fucking get up. But yeah, nah, man. Again, round of applause to those guys. I'm not gonna hit it again. Too much. Yeah, applause. that's too much applause. But round of applause to them, bro. They yeah. built it, and they, you know, they're reaping the benefits of it, and that's commendable. That is. But, you know, it's getting a little cold out, Johnny boy. It's getting a little cold out. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And ultimately, bro, it's cuddle weather. It's cuddle time, bro. Yeah, you know well, you, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I went up to Connecticut like fucking two years ago. Was it two years ago? It feels like it. I think so. I think it might have been, yeah. But yeah, man, and bro, it was cold, bro. And it was only like March. It was like bro. the end of winter. 
Like Listen, for them man. And it was like Bro it wasn't snow And it was so cold That when bro I was like Yo I need to stay Cuddled up bro Like I cuddled the fuck nah, up Cuddle bro. weather man You get you a little Fucking blanket On the couch You, 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 you put on a nice show You get yeah. some hot cocoa Yeah you get on the you spooning You get the spooning and yeah. shit Yeah A little bit of forking A little spoon and fork Yeah a Spork <laughs> Get the sporking in this bitch. Get the sporking in this bitch. You feel me? They're probably like, what the fuck does that mean, bro? And don't worry about it. If you never got a spork in your life, you never lived. I I, I saw it in prison on TV. In prison on TV. This fucking guy. Yeah, I never went to prison. Fuck out of here. I said I saw it on TV, bro. You ever see those scared straight motherfuckers, bro? Yo, them scared straight kids. Some of them be. It's like, bro, you're gonna be in jail for real, bro. Them kids are really bad, bro. There was this one kid, bro. Now he was getting their ass like at every (laughs) fucking turn. Like they were like, go ahead, get in there, get in there. He's like, I can't. And they're like, why you scared? He's like, nah, the door ain't all the way open. (laughs) The guy was like. No, that oh, correctional yeah. officer is like, yo, this thing is probably harder than us for real. Like, no, for real. He's like, y'all, don't give a fuck. Nah, y'all gotta be <laughs> fucked up. Y'all ain't gonna pay me to be on TV and get yelled at and be treated like a piece of shit from a little 13 year old, and I can't hit him. I mean, listen, man. When we, you don't, when you don't know what goes on. Yeah, you don't know what goes on behind them <laughs> record <laughs> buttons. <laughs> You, know what I'm Bridge, you better listen. Yeah, yo, look, no, they beat your ass, bro. <laughs> Throw you in the room I, for real. Niggas think that that shit's a joke, but I'm telling you, man, you go to the, you go to the penitentiary with, on some bullshit, brother. Like, the guards will beat your ass. Yeah, they will. Not, the inmates will too, though. But the guards will be the first one to put their fucking hands on. They're you. the dirtiest ones guess in what? there. When you go to prison, nigga, you're literally state property. You're not even considered a human at that point. You're state property. So that's why they can move you wherever they want your property. Oh, put them over there. All right, bring them back over here. All right, send them back. You're just like a box, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's like, bro, fuck all that, nigga. Like, nah, I ain't fucking with that. Bro. <laughs> nah, those little kids, man. Yeah, I mean, some people just grow up with fucking shitty kids, man. You know? Yeah, facts. Some people are really, really good parents, and their kids are just assholes. Yeah. I mean, for no honestly, reason. Yeah, I was like that at one point. Like my mom, my mom raised this a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And I still disobeyed and did what the fuck I wanted to do. You go through that re- like rebellious stage, bro. Like, yeah, it's just it is what it is. That's why you can't always blame the parent, but a lot of the times it is the parent too. You know? Yeah, they real learn. Talk. They, you know, the apple doesn't far, far, far from the tree. You know, nah, what I mean? real talk, man. Yeah. Real talk. But yeah, guys, that cuddle weather. Going back to that, man. Cuddle weather. Stay cuddled up. This this winter is going to be a cold one. You know, what I'm saying, get that cold, cold. Get like, that sporking going on. I feel like it's going to be cold. Nah, it's real gonna be, cold. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold this year. You think? But you think the climate is like controlled? To a certain extent, I think it can be. Yeah, I think they have like weather machines and shit. That's just my conspiracy brain, though. But yeah, like I feel like it's you know, if you know how clouds work, it's not hard to make a cloud that rains. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's exactly. Really it's like all right, man. Like I want it to snow on this day. I mean, hey, that's some type of money. That's powerful. Because well, for <laughs> well, you got billions, trillions, and shit. Like, well, you got all this funding and shit. Like, it's not really hard to do. Yeah, and they're talking about they have like patent, like fucking like, like seeds, like like farming seeds, like for certain like fruits and shit like that. Like you can't like actually buy seeds anymore. Certain seeds that grow the fruit, it would only grow the tree. That's Damn fucking man. nuts. That's why Norway is ahead of the curve, bro. With that with that little shit they got, you know what I mean? They got all the seeds to all the fruits and all the everything. Mm-hmm. The niggas mm-hmm. to sleep, bro. Yeah, Norway's gonna it. be and Norway's gonna be selling one. <laughs> A hundred thousand a seed, bitch. I think you know Jay was. Jay you was, want a pair? Jay was telling me, yeah. you want one? You, you want, want a pair? pair? If you don't want a pair, yeah, then yo, you call this pair. Yo, if you right? want a pair that has nutrients, or you're just gonna eat a pair that has nothing. You want peach fuzz? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man. Nah, but Jay was telling me yesterday. He's like, yo, man, like, uh, he's like, bro, you just need to move to Norway, bro, and just you know, because their culture is different, bro. You know, he's like, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no hope for for American girls. And I was just like, damn, that's true, though. Yo, For American not all of them, girls, not all who of them. do they have to look up to? Cardi B? Megan Thee Stallion? That ain't popping over there. Bro, nobody wants to. Come on, bro. Like, let, let's get into the real conversation. A lot of women follow these trends about of being a hoe, thinking that that's really what men like. Yes, men love 
fucking hoes. <laughs> yes. Besides but, that, though, yeah, like, like y'all really think that that's a game? Like, no, yeah. yes, of course, niggas love fucking hoes. Yeah, but after they're done fucking, it's like you could go now, though. Like, yeah. I don't even want to fucking hold a conversation with you. Yeah, and that's where women get their heart broke. Like, damn, I thought being a hoe was gonna get me in the door. I mean, it did, but it gets you right back out. That motherfucker. Facts. Like, I I don't want to wife you. I don't want to learn about your life and fucking help you build your dreams. You're a hoe. <laughs> like real shit Yeah You know what I'm saying Like That is true bro Because that shit ain't Popping over there bro That shit ain't cool bro Like I mean I'm pretty sure They got a, a fan base Everywhere in the world You know what I mean But like, I'm sure they do But It ain't popping Like American Like you know what I mean Like it's not like it's we, We're totally Two different things nah, bro They have slut walks Over here Where they have parades Parades Of women That show up To say they're proud Of being a fucking slut what? Bro, that Amber Rose shit, she does that like every year, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not playing with you. When when 21 Savage was dating her, he got fucking made fun of because he was out there holding a sign saying I'm a hoe too. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Right. That's a real thing, though. Like, it was a meme for a little bit with him, but like she does that every year. A slut walk. Like, it's called a slut walk. Yeah, well, Amber Rose is like... A slut. <laughs> yeah, that's what she got famous for, bro. That's what she All got these famous. girls, man. Have you ever seen the video of uh, Kim Kim Kardashian trying to tell their daughter like why they're fame like why she's famous? Oh yeah, she's yeah. like yeah, daddy's a, like she's had a lot to say about Kanye. Oh, he's a producer, he's an artist, this and that, music this, or clothes designer. And mommy, when she went, bro, she didn't know what the fuck to say. She was like, she has so many talents, I can't even begin to explain them. It's like, bro, you fucked Ray J. Yeah. That's how you became famous. It's true. And Ray J wasn't even that popping. No, he was that nigga at that time. Was he? Ray, what? Nigga? Ray J was one it, was wish? It, was it that long ago? What? But was he, it that long ago, though? Oh, it was that long ago. Bro, you got to remember, these people ain't that, as young as they make them seem to be. It seems like. These cameras and these surgeries and these fucking, this makeup that they have makes them look a certain way. Yo, bro, she's 40 something years old. She's not a little girl. She's not in her 20s or her 30s. She's a grown-ass fucking woman. Damn, you know what I'm bro. saying? Like, yeah. these, they're older, man. I just, I ain't feeling the, I ain't feeling the whole, like, weird body, thigh to, to butt ratio type of thing. Like, Look, I'm just man, not feeling it. It looks great on camera. Trust me, when they get home and they take off their corset and they take off all the bullshit that they have helping them hold that shit up, bro, gravity does its thing. When you're 40-something, you're a woman, gravity does its fucking thing. Surgery or not. Sorry. You... you uh, you know what I'm saying? It, that's just, it's it's human. It's the human body, bro. Yeah, it's 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 kind of weird to me, bro. Like I just don't enjoy it. And I've actually been with a woman with a fake ass. So like I've actually done it. Like I'm not just sitting here just being like, oh, that doesn't look good. Like I've done it. Facts. So it's it's not all that great. It's yeah, not worth the I money. Like prefer, when I, when I, I hear the money, real ass, right? yeah. Like when I hear the how much money they spend, it's like not worth it to 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 my perspective of it because they want to please us. That's why they're doing it. And they want to plead themselves as well. But yeah, I think but, it's more you know? of like an insecurity thing for them. Yeah. Because a lot of women don't care about that, you know, but I don't know, man. It's, it's social pressure, bro. It's social pressure. And that's one thing I want to get into is just pressure period for the holidays, right? The holidays are coming up, bro. It's only a month away. And I promise you, bro, there's people right now stressing, stressing about how they're going to get a gift, how they're going to do this. They're going to be behind on bills. What bill am I going to fucking be behind on just so I can do this? Fuck all of that. Fuck the holiday pressure, bro. If you don't got it, don't go fucking broke trying to ha look like you have it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. your kids will be all right if they got to wait an extra two weeks to get some gifts. Yeah Don't be alright yeah. It's okay Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I've been in that situation Where I woke up And I didn't have shit Under my yeah, tree me too It fucking sucks Yeah it sucks. But guess what Yeah I was alright In three weeks When I got what I wanted To fucking And get. it was one, And, and <laughs> you know it was I mean? one thing That like Was expensive And they were like Listen like I know you want Something that expensive Like I'm not gonna be able To get it this week yeah. But just know Like I'll be able to get it So just tell me What you want Yeah like, Holiday just, pressure bro Like yeah And I'm glad my mom Did that shit with us bro yeah, It was just, just like She sense. was like Listen nigga we need food, we need lights, we need water, and we need gas in the car. And I'm doing this shit by myself. <laughs> you know I mean? Right, facts. Like, like I don't the, have no fucking help. Yeah, so yeah. you could wait a couple weeks for your little fucking GameCube, okay? And then on top of it, <laughs> and, on, yeah, and on top of it, she was driving far too. 
Yeah, my mom was driving like an hour and a half away. An hour and a half. That shit was like two. It was like an hour and a half. I like an hour and a half. Really? Yeah. Damn. It's like an hour and a half. Still, nigga, an hour and a half to work and then an hour and a half back. That's a fucking drive. That's a fucking drive, bro. It is, man. That's a long time. But yeah, bro. man. That holiday do pressure, bro. Don't don't let nobody pressure you into and oh, bro, you're a bad parent because you didn't get your kid the PS5. Man, fuck the PS5. That PS5 ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing for your fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the chances of them becoming Nick Merckx or fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like it's very fucking slim to none. Like go for it, but trust, man. Like they will be all right. Don't go yeah. into debt just because. You know, you don't want to make yourself look a certain way or, you don't like, fuck all that, bro. You got to take care of your shit first. Yeah, that ass, bro. And that that's crazy to me, man, because uh, some kids just don't, they don't look at it like that, you know? And you don't look at it as a little kid. Like, when you're, when you're a little kid, you look at it like, damn, bro, like, you know, like, you don't look at it from that perspective of how hard your parents work and shit. Yeah, you know what, I mean? what money actually is. Yeah. You're just thinking, like, how don't we have it? Yeah. Motherfucker. Fucker <laughs> I gotta buy clothes for you Every fucking three months Cause you keep growing I gotta fucking Make sure all the bills Are paid Lights is on Food's in the fridge You know what I'm saying School School this School that Like bro Having kids is fucking expensive And when you're a kid You don't notice it Yep And then when your parents Have more than one fucking kid Then it's like You still You still don't notice that It's just like But listen man that is true. Fuck all the holiday pressure, man. Yeah, bro. Take care of yourself. Take care of your business before you go buying fucking toys that these kids aren't gonna give a fuck about in three weeks, two weeks. And it's always it's always it's always a good time of year. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's always a good time of year, bro. It's fucking it's a good vibe. Like the food is good. You know, coquito, yeah, like some good yeah, fucking time. Bro, this is the best time of the year for, for us, man. Like yeah. that's what I wanted to get into next, man. Having that Hispanic holiday, bro. We celebrate for like three months, nigga. We don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah. We start <laughs> celebrating. <end> January. <laughs> we start celebrating in November, and then we stop at the beginning of fucking. You know what I'm saying? At the end of January. Yeah. And we celebrate Three Kings Day. Three Kings Day, and then two weeks after that, we still got the lights yeah. up. Yeah. My mom told me. Straight, <laughs> my mom told me straight up. She's like, "Yo, for Three Kings Day, you ain't getting shit." Yo, shit. Facts. Nah, there there be there be some times where I be telling my family like, "Yo, you ain't getting." shit Shit for Christmas, you're gonna have to wait for Three Kings Day. Exactly. That ass. Real shit. That ass. That's happened to it me sucks before. To you. It yeah. sucks for you. Yeah. But you're gonna get your gift, but suck my sack. All yeah. right. Yeah. I know I gotta fucking do what I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Where the camels at? <laughs> Where the fucking hay in yeah, the fucking bro. floor. When they hear bro, when they hear our fucking tradition, they're like, what the fuck, bro? Oh yeah, bro. Camels. The camel tradition. Hey, Three Kings Day, bro. You got listen, you go out in your yard with a shoebox, you fill it up with grass. All right, you yeah. grab grass, you fill it up, you put it at the foot of your bed. Throughout the night, the story is, the legend has it, that the three wise men, the three kings, they come into your house with their fucking camels, yeah. and they leave gifts, and then their camels eat the, grass. the fucking grass, and then they leave. And then, they leave. and then you wake up in the morning, and you're excited as fuck, you yeah. see grass all over the floor, yeah. you think the fucking yeah. camels came, and the yeah. whole time it was your fucking parents. All right, <laughs> they're throwing grass all over the place. You know what I'm saying? They're getting their payback for having to buy all these fucking gifts. Yeah. Hey, wake up and clean up this whole fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, bro. What the fuck, bro? And what's the other tradition where we go to people's houses with fucking insurance? Yeah, through yeah, through yeah. Yo, I remember that. Yeah, I've done that before. Bro, yeah, yeah. You, you fucking go to the first house, you start with one car and one <laughs> bottle. By the time you get to the last house, that last house is fucked because Yo. you got to feed 40 people. Yep. Everybody's already drunk. Yep. They're not going to shut the fuck up no. until you open the door. Because yeah. <laughs> ah, where I else know, are we going to go? I know you're home. I know you're home, motherfucker. I see the fucking car over the fucking You told door. me you weren't doing shit yeah. tonight. Yeah, they ask you. They figure out which house they're going to land at, like, at the end. No, but, yeah. bro, just they're not going to shut up. Yeah. And they're singing. It's yeah, like the, all, imagine yeah. forty people at your front door with giant, instruments and the water, shit. You know the giant gallon water things. Yeah, you, they're yeah. fucking uh, congas and yeah. shit. They got all types <laughs> of shit, nigga. They're beating the fucking door down with the music. Fuck, you bro. better open that shit up for your neighbors. Call the cops because they ain't going nowhere. But I love that shit. Yeah, bro. yeah, it's I love a, that. Yeah, it's yeah, our that's tradition, our culture, bro. You know it's our culture. Yeah, come on, man. We fucking we're loud. We're loud as fuck. Yo, listen. <laughs> 
I remember, yo, our our table was mostly Hispanic in high school, bro. And the janitors used to come over like, yo, y'all are right here. Yeah. Y'all really got to talk that fucking loud and nah, scream at each other? In the morning, We're like, who's screaming? Nah. Yeah, we're not screaming yet. You want us to get loud in this bitch? We'll get loud in this bitch. And Dominicans get loud too, bro. Dominicans... Yo, Listen, I, I love got, I love my Dominicans, man, but y'all swear y'all ain't black, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't black, bro. No, bro. Come on, no, bro. bro. No me, papi. No, no me. No, no, no me. Moreno, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, you black as fuck. Yeah, yeah bro, you are. Platano ass. <laughs> For real, bro. I swear, bro. Nah, but it's crazy, man. You know how people be fucking, these white people, bro. They be looking at us, man. I'm half white, so I can say it. These fucking white people, These bro. fucking whiteies. Yeah. All right? They fucking, they think that we're fucking, um, you know, the Mexicans and the fucking, like, we're, we're like the same. We're not oh, the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're, we're, Yo, listen, we're like. First of all. Yeah. There's no such thing as somebody speaking Mexican. Yes. <laughs> They're speaking Spanish. Spanish. And guess what? All of the Latin American countries could communicate with each other because yes. we all speak the same the language. Same language. Yeah. We might say certain things different, use other words to, you know, to say certain things. But, bro, we could all speak. It's not somebody speaking Mexican and somebody speaking Puerto Rican. Like, it's yeah, Spanish. It's Spanish. It's yeah. Spanish. But to be honest, we do have our own dialects, the way we speak. Of course, we have our own slangs and shit. Yeah. But, nigga, we can all communicate. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody from Puerto Rico that doesn't speak English could go to Mexico and survive and be fine. Vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Go to Colombia. Vice versa. Anywhere. You could yeah. go to Colombia and yeah. be good. Yeah, you, you go they're to gonna learn. Like, you'll learn... New words and stuff, but you'll be able to, you'll be fine. I'm not like, gonna lie though. There are some like, like when I hear people from like Spain and stuff like that, sometimes I can't understand them because that's how different the Spanish is sometimes. Like the way they speak at the dialect. I don't know what they say, certain they, words. They all speak different, bro, but trust me, man, you know Spanish, you, you'll be all right. Yeah. Even with Portuguese. Yeah. I don't know how to speak Portuguese, but it's so similar to Spanish yes. that you pick up a lot of shit. Yeah, it is true. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, it is not, like, it's just, I don't know, bro, but. Listen, man, it's fucking crazy to think about, right? Yeah, bro. It's crazy to think about everybody, you know, we're, we're heading towards the New Year's, and uh, we're going to start seeing all these fake-ass fucking New Year's resolutions. Oh, I'm going to fucking actually do it this year. I'm going to work out. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fucking work I'm out. I'm gonna work out two weeks into the year. You're already fucking eating half boxes of donuts for breakfast. I ain't gonna lie, I've done that before, but I still went. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, man, like I still go, bro. Like I still go at least five five days out of the week, bro. And if I can't Word. go a certain day, then I'll make sure I'll make it up on the weekend. Yeah, nah, facts. You gotta have that discipline, bro. And it's not for anybody else, man. It's for your own health. Yeah. Like all the other shit is perks. Like, yeah, you look better. Yeah, you get recognized. People start telling you, like, yo, bro, you you know, keep it up. All that shit feels good, but ultimately, like, fuck all that. It's better than being in a hospital bed and being told, like, nigga, you're obese, and if you don't change it, you're gonna fucking lose your life. Yeah, like that's what what you should really be doing it yeah, for. You, you know start what I'm doing saying? Some like, cardio, <laughs> papa. Yo, papa. Yo, no, nah, fuck Mommy. this nigga. Yo, when I first started going to the gym with yeah. this nigga and Toby, bro, these niggas didn't do no, no leg day we, and no cardio. We did, we did. Yeah, I know. I bro, got, I, I remember I put these niggas on the motherfucking bike. Yeah. Toby didn't last fucking ten minutes. <laughs> I was now, like, yo, yo, now, what now we doing 30, 30 minutes a day. Except, for, except you, for Toby. I'm proud of you, except man. Except for fucking Toby. Toby. Well, Toby's a fucking vagina. I told him that. Bro. Yeah. I was like, bro, when you move back to Geneva, you're not going to be driving 30, 40 minutes out here just to go to the gym. Yo, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do it. No, you won't. My nigga, you have a whole five Did acres. You, you have a gym at your house. You have a fucking carport. You don't yeah, need to yeah. be fucking leaving your house for you, nothing. No, you know, bro. You got a NASCAR fucking driver <laughs> seat and shit. This motherfucker got the pedals. He got the steering wheel. He all he's missing is the bro, helmet. I'm proud of him though, because yeah. I remember him talking about that yeah, shit when we ta- lived yeah, together. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I was like, Tori ain't gonna let you she, get that yo, shit. She's gonna bitch. be tired of your ass, bro. <laughs> Nah, but she you gonna know what? make you drive that shit right to the closet and put you it see, up. You seen the guy that fucking made his home gym like a like a Amish fucking gym? Like it was like all wood. <laughs> Everything was made out of wood. That's swag. And then he was like the the weight were like the the cinder blocks that he tied with a rope. 
And he's just has it's literally looks just like our machines, but all wood that he made. And he looked like he, he did a decent job and on I'm it. I'm pretty sure that nigga really works out with that shit. And I'm no, he he was. And it was like the leg press too, made out of wood. And I was like, what the fuck? Bro, it was crazy. And he was just like, people were like, <laughs> people were commenting. They're like, yo, bro, it's it's all it's all funny games. So you get fucking splinters, bro. Mmm, damn, that's true. That's trash. That's true. Splinters. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You ever sat on your sack? Yeah, that shit sucks on the that bike. That shit hurts, bro. Yeah, for 30 minutes, I feel like I get fucking little ball cancer for like 30 seconds. And nah, then I'm like, bro, that shit feels horrible. It feels like somebody just done fucking flicked your shit. <laughs> yeah, they just flicked. like fuck. You ever got flicked, bro? You ever? Nah, had I got a, hit in my dick. You a ever had times. a fucking girl just grab you by your penis hard? Like motherfucker, shut up. Damn, that's abusive. I don't think that's ever <laughs> happened to me. Uh, <laughs> My dog shit. Yo, my dog was getting groped. Yeah, bro. Groped and moped nah, by his own fucking girl, yeah, man. Knew, yo, she almost <laughs> chopped my penis off, bro. You saw that? She was like, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's been crazy. Those I had some psycho crazy bitches, girls. Yeah, bro. I don't know. It was kind of hot, too. It was kind of No, weird. yeah, yeah. You got to fuck after that. Yeah, it was like, all right, bitch. What the fuck you like, trying to damn, do? bitch. You fucking trying to it's take it with you? Yeah. Go ahead. Take it. Take it for a walk. Take it for, <laughs> take it for a walk. Bring it around the corner in five minutes. Come back. I'll pick it up. Pick it up tomorrow, <laughs> three o'clock. <laughs> Better be pressed. <laughs> I don't know, man, but <coughs> that fake ass resolution bullshit they got going on, bro. Yeah. Like you were saying, <coughs> the New Year's resolution, guys. Don't be a fucking liar. If you're not gonna work out, just say you're not gonna work it's out. Not even That's that. why I salute Santos. I ran into him. That nigga like, gained some weight. He's like, fuck the gym. He's like, I choose happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I choose the night, happy. I was like, yeah, you ain't gonna be very happy when you fucking sitting in the hospital with diabetes, bitch. Bro, bro, he gets fucking lit, and the one time you, everybody has that one fucking friend at the party that fucking just takes their shirt off for no reason. They just yeah. take their shirt yeah. off. Yeah. I don't understand it. I've never I, done yeah. it. I have a few of them. Yes, I know. And we used to all turn up, and by the end of the night, it'd yeah. be no shirts in sight. Yes, no shirts. No shirts in sight. No. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the night, everybody has no shirt. No, I don't bro. understand how this happens, <laughs> but it happens, bro. Like, and it's not even like we just, it's just a man no, it's shit. Just, it's, it's like men showing yo, their chest. Nah, it's like, bro. you get, bro, once you're a few beers in, it starts getting it a little gets hot. hot. Yeah, it gets sweaty. You know what I'm saying? You so you don't, you, got, you know, you got your crew neck. You yeah. know, you don't want to stretch that bitch out. You take it off, put yeah. it on the counter. Yeah. Or not wherever the fuck you put it, whatever. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? You the take rag. it off, and then at the end of the night, you don't even know which shirt's yours. So you just grab one. Yeah. And you fucking put it on. And it looks God. like a fucking that is some crop top on you. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, it was good times, bro. We had good times. Nah, it, it was great times, man. It was great times. Great times for sure. That's all you well, got listen, at guys, the end of the day. That's all you have. Memories. So hold on to them. Hold on to the people that you love. Tell them that you love them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're heading towards this new year, man. Yeah, bro. We're heading towards this new year. Let's get there. Let's get there with positive vibes. Let's keep this fucking train going. Let's keep you know it what going. I'm saying? And say fuck positive. I mean, negativity. <laughs> Oh, my dog got scared. I thought I was like, damn. Bro, I was like, you tripping. Nah, fuck Yo. negativity, man. Yo. Positive vibes Yo, only, guys. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit fucking nah, scared the fuck out of me, Nah, I fucked up there a little bit. I fucked up, but I, it's okay. I, I looked at him like, are you okay? Nah, I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine, guys. My dog had a, my dog we went a demon little, time real quick. We a little litty, man. Voldemort. All yeah, right? All we right. out. Hey, that's fucked up. <laughs> we out. Peace of love. Peace of love. Peace of love.